This is Single Pack Link. To learn more about the Game Boy Advance Single Pack multiplayer functionality, such as how to connect compatible games with GBA Link cables, be sure to check out my how-to video, link in the description. Sonic Advance was the first of Sonic's trilogy on Nintendo's handheld and features a relatively plain Single Pack Link multiplayer mode. Once Player 1 sends the game data to GBA's in standby mode, connected players take control of a different Sonic character in a competition to see who can collect the most rings within a 3 minute time limit. There are no options and only one stage is available, which results in a limited experience, one that you won't really need to play more than a couple of times. The one playable stage is mostly a vertical arena, but reaching higher platforms is rather tricky due to the inconsiderate level design. From the opening moment, players are tasked with making a pixel-perfect jump if they want to reach any other area of the stage. Building momentum takes time in Sonic Advance even when using Sonic Stationary Speed Boost. Landing these jumps also doesn't look quite right as Sonic can just barely reach each new platform. It's entirely possible to be stuck on the bottom of the stage for the full 3 minutes if you perform with anything less than precision. If you do manage to complete that very first tricky jump, the level is rather large. The problem is, without any type of a radar or map feature, there's no way to monitor the locations of your opponents in case you wanted to hunt them down. It's entirely possible to camp the top or the corner of the stage and just wait until time expires if you have enough rings to win. It feels cheap when a cheating strategy could be the one that often leads to victory. There are hazards throughout the stage in which you can lose your rings or players can directly attack each other. And once time expires, a winner is declared and the game instantly restarts. On the same level, as the same characters who all have the same abilities, tasked with making the same difficult jumps from a tedious momentum building movement system. There just isn't much variety. At least the music is pretty good though and it's easily a highlight of the single pack experience. You know what else is one of the better parts of the single pack link mode? This loading screen chow. It's cool that Dimps took the time to create a multiplayer experience for four players from a single cartridge, but there just isn't much to chew on. Sure, I guess if you really enjoy Sonic games, I would say go ahead and connect those GBAs with link cables and give it an experimental try. But if you're not a fan, worry not as Sonic has plenty more single pack link multiplayer options found in his other GBA games. So what do you think? Are you a fan of Sonic? Have you played Sonic's GBA games? Would you lose your mind if Sega announced Sonic Adventure 3 on the Dreamcast 2? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this single pack link coverage, be sure to check out all my other single pack link videos right here on my channel. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.